Hi people, hope everyone's good. Um, so, we picked the chicks up. Great. Uh, well, it is. I've done this for the last eight years. Um, I know you always get excited over it. Um, it's just something I like doing. It's fun, feeds the family, it's great. Um, I will add a link to the pin down below in the description to the website of the company I use to buy these chickens. Um, I don't get anything from it. Um, they said if they get anybody um, ordering chicks and you mention you see me online, um, they'll pass on some free chicks next time they can order. So please do, it'd be great. So this is how I grow uh, 100 meat birds. It's roughly a year's worth of food. Um, I mean, this is a third or fourth batch we've had this year, so but we we sell them to other people. Um, and half the chicks go sometimes. So if I make an order of hundred, I'll probably ninety percent of the time sold most of them or all of them before they've even got here. Um, I put an advert on Free Love, so if you look out on there, if you're interested, I sell them on there. Um, if you only want small amounts, the place that I buy them from, I think the smallest amount is fifty. So just bear that in mind. Um, Piggott's, great place. I've got not got one bad word to say about the guys. Uh, Richard, if you speak to Richard, bend over backwards to help you. Um, so yeah, please give him a, sh a shout out. or have a look. I did ask him for a t-shirt. I'm not paid to say any of this, by the way. Um, but he just said he'd give me some free chicks if you mentioned. Did I mention that already? There we go. Um, I'm not going to do a weekly update, I don't think. Or I will do, but I'll just bundle it into one video. Because to be honest, these ones don't grow as quick as a Ross 308, but they do grow quick. But I don't think it's worth doing a weekly update. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's only a short one. Um, I'm going to um, do the video on processing. I know a lot of people don't like to see it, but it has to be done, unfortunately, if we want to eat meat. Um, before anybody asks or moans, I'm actually a trained slaughterman um, for chickens anyway. I wanted to do um, a mobile slaughterhouse or slaughter, slaughter business, um, but in England, the hoops in red tape you have to jump over and you'd have to have. Right. If you want to kill an animal for yourself or have an animal for yourself, that's fine. You can do what you want. But as soon as you want to sell the meat on, you have to have it to either go through a you have to actually go for a licensed slaughterhouse, licensed butcher, and then it's checked and passed on, it's fine. Um, so the red tape, I'd have had to have taken animal health to every single place that I went to that what to sell the meat on, so that went out the window. But I've been fully trained in how to cull um, chickens and turkeys. Not a lot to say. Anyone can do this, I think, as long as you've got the space. One thing you do have to watch out for, I know the next street down from me is a newer build um, and they're not allowed any livestock. It even stipulates in their deeds, n no no chickens, nothing like that. There's no livestock, it, it, even in chickens. And the only reason I know that is because I had a friend that lived on the next street and it, it was a bit miffed. Um, so I have checked, it's quite easy to go to the council and they'll take over in your deeds uh, to the house. So. Just, just a quick short one. I'll like be explaining what um, breeding bird I've got, and um, the house. The house is just a six by four shed, um, eight by six, should I say, shed. Um, a couple of heat lamps, feeder, drinker, and that's it. So enjoy. I hope it's helpful to somebody. Um, I will say that these are similar to the um, Freedom Rangers. That you see on YouTube a lot. I think they're a little bit bigger and a little bit quicker because Freedom Rangers are 12 to 14 weeks, I believe. These are eight week birds. That means they finish in eight weeks and they've got a certain size to reach. So they're a little bit quicker. So they're in between like the fastest and then the next slower grown bird. So but the taste just is nice. Yeah, hope everyone's well. Keep it up. Don't forget to check out the website down below. Um, I don't get paid for saying this, by the way. It'd be nice to. There you go. So, see you later. Bye bye. 
Hey up guys, hope everyone's well. Um, this is the start of a new thing, um, or a new, new section uh, for me. It's going to be how to grow a year's worth of meat, um, or a hundred meat birds uh, in one go. Now, I only grow these in my back garden. Uh, it's a good sized pen, um, using an 8x6 shed. Um, and basic things, so you can see the two heat lamps, you can see a water factory that's changed three times from that to a bigger one, I guess it's a five gallon bucket. I use three inch PVC guttering, really easy to clean, um, move and then you can hang it, you can just see in the, the background there's a bracket on the wall. Um, it's the easiest and cheapest way I've found to buy a feeder to feed so many birds at once. Because you know, once they get too big, I want them out of the shed, I'll bring the feeders out or fill them, it encourages the birds to come out. Uh, the variety I've come for this time is a Hubbard, and it's a 957, so it's a mainly white bird with a few pink speckles and has white skin, white feet. White feet. Um, there is another variety exactly the same that has the yellow skin, yellow beak, yellow shanks, but not much difference. Um, yeah, so I go pick them up tomorrow on the Friday. It's Thursday today. Um, I'm not going to fill this bit with too much because I'll explain things as I go along. Um, but I just want to show you and bring you along for a ride how easy it is to grow them. Um, and then we'll do a couple of videos on how to butcher them as well. Um, yeah. Let's go for a ride. Let's go pick them up. So, okay, uh, this is 100 meat chicks. These are the 957s. So cute. When you get um, 308s, Ross 308s, they are pure yellow. And obviously these ones are, I think they're roughly, um, I think they're 98% white, believe it or not. And then they have. Uh, speckles. So I'm going to start my journey back. It's a good half hour back. So I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, it's about six hours now. Um, I'm not going to do another update that quick. It's just I wanted to come and check on them, make sure everyone's sorted out. Nice and warm um, and moving. As you can see, I'm pretty sparkly. I've had to fill that feeder up already. Um, you can see they're eating pretty well. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting these to be roughly about two kilos by the eight week mark. I will keep some on for Christmas market. Um, so, there it is. Let the fun begin. Um, there's one thing a lot of people. I'm going to bring these in, we'll get every single bird and put it next to the water and on the feeder. I don't think it's necessary personally because they're just geared up to eat. I right, see these already drinking pretty well. <coughs> Excuse me. They're doing pretty well. They're eating. And then they show two, three out of each section. Um, so I think they're well. <coughs> 